So basically this video is just all the A-level mistakes that I made during my time doing A-levels and what happened was AS level I was expected to get A's, didn't get that and I got B's and C's and D's so in the summer holidays you thought to myself what mistakes did I do, wrote them down and thought how can I improve and then wrote that down, worked on that during A2 and then during A2, it changed a lot of things, pulled up my economics grade from a D to an A star. I obviously did change things around and it did work. So basically, first thing I need to mention is don't revise with your phone on your desk. It's like the biggest distraction ever. I don't know about you, but when I was revising, I kept telling myself, oh, actually, you know what? I've done a lot of work today. I'd go on my phone for like 10 minutes and see what's on Facebook or Instagram and then 10 minutes would pass, half an hour would pass, and then, you know, next thing you know, an hour's gone, and you've been on your phone looking at other people's social life, and then and then you feel bad about it. So when you go back to revise, you're feeling bad because you've just wasted an hour of your life, you know, where you, where you could have spent revising. So you don't get much work done. But, and, and that was just a cycle. I kept doing that again and again and again, and it was not helping my revision. Put your phone in another room, just hide it away into another room, or put it in, um, a drawer or something somewhere away from you and then do your work so do an hour's work and then go to your phone set yourself 10 minutes come back leave your phone in that room come back and get on with it and that helps a lot second thing is don't listen to music now that might sound old-fashioned but basically the way it works if you listen to music with lyrics in then you start singing along with it or like you start concentrating on the lyric and that sort of shifts your concentration away from your work so fair enough listen to music but if you listen to music then listen to instrumentals or orchestra music and um, i know it sounds weird but i used to listen to orchestra music my chemistry teacher said it releases alpha waves or something and apparently they're good for you I think. But yeah don't quote me on it um but stuff like canon in d by Paco bell is meant to be a good one to so listen to orchestra music or listen to instrumentals but no music with lyrics my next tip number three is revise somewhere away from your family so say your brothers and your sisters are downstairs in the living room don't revise there obviously because you're going to stop talking to them or they're going to distract you, they're going to fight or whatever. Just don't revise near family and friends. So if they're upstairs, then you revise downstairs. If they're downstairs, then you revise up. But if they're, you know, you were in the house, then you revise in the library or something. Just somewhere away from them. Because I found them to be the biggest distraction. It's obviously they can't help it and I can't help it as well. It just happens. So yeah, revise away from your family. And my final tip for this part of the video is make notes. I mean, I remember when I started AS level, I was so ignorant. I was just like... When people were telling me to make notes, I was just like, no, because I revised by reading. It worked for GCSE, so I'm not going to change it because you said you're telling me to make notes. And because of that ignorance, you know, that's what got me the grades at AS level. So make sure you make notes on everything, but also make sure you're not lazy with making notes. Don't make notes on like one small chunk and then leave out another chunk because you think it's irrelevant and it won't come to the exam. Because the thing is, you don't write the exam. So you're not sure what what is going to come up and what won't come up so make notes on everything irrelevant as it seems and it, and i don't know how it works but it does work i swear down it does work it imprints it it's like it imprints it in the back of your mind just writing it out imprints it into your mind so it will work and just try it out try different colors be creative as well so draw pictures and stuff like that. basically those are my mistakes i made during a level and you know if you're making these as well then you need to change hope this video is helpful make sure you like comment and subscribe because part two of this video probably the better part of the video will be coming out soon thanks for watching bye now